We turn now to our continuing coverage of the death of California Senator Dianne Feinstein. Lawmakers across the political spectrum are remembering her as a trailblazer in the nation's capital. But her career began in San Francisco local politics, where she served on the city's board of supervisors and later as mayor. For more, let's bring in California State Senator Scott Weiner. He also began his political career on San Francisco's Board of Supervisors. So thanks for joining us. Tell us about the one personal experience with the senator that you're going to remember most. Well, I, she, Senator Feinstein, has San Francisco is part of her DNA, and she's part of San Francisco's uh, DNA for more than 55 years. Uh, she was uh, just a, at the core of San Francisco politics uh, and just an incredible uh, trailblazer. Um, my uh, fondest memory of Senator Feinstein was when I was running for my first uh, term on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 2010, uh, and she endorsed me, which is not something she did often, uh, and she wanted to meet with me. So I went into her office. She was one of the most powerful uh, people in the U.S. I figured I would have like three minutes with her. I brought a photographer uh, to get a photo for the campaign. Uh, and she spent over an hour with me. She sat with me uh, talking about her time on the Board of Supervisors, which she clearly was very nostalgic about. She asked to see my campaign flyer uh, and then proceeded to edit it word for word, telling me what was good, what was bad, what needed to be changed and marked it up. Uh, uh, her aide came in and said, Senator Schumer's on the phone uh, for you. And she said, I'll call him back. So she picked me. I was like this nobody running for office. And she stayed with me. And then when I went to take a photo with her, uh, she looks at me and she says, uh, can I put my arm around you? And I said, sure. And then she does that. And she says, you know what? You're sort of stiff. You need to loosen up. And so oh my goodness. there was this, <laughs> this public side to Senator to Dianne Feinstein as being very prim and proper and formal. And she was in many ways. But she was also one of the most real, down-to-earth, authentic people in politics I've been around. There was no, um, uh, there, there was nothing fake about her. Everything was real. I love the fact that she gave you all of that free advice, right? Yeah. The being she did. More, it was good. Being a lot sort of looser, calmer, even yeah. editing your flyer, that's really something. Yeah. So let's just take this all a step further. Senator Feinstein was mayor of San Francisco at the start of the AIDS epidemic. What do you think her legacy is on that issue and the LGBTQ plus issues? Yeah, and I say this as a gay man who I came of age as a gay man when I was 17 years old in 1987 at the worst point of uh, the HIV AIDS disaster, uh, a true mass die off uh, primarily of gay men. Uh, and Diane Feinstein, when she first ran for the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in the late 1960s, uh, she campaigned in the gay community. And that's not something that straight politicians really did back then. Uh, and then she became mayor and then this public health disaster hit our city and other places as well. And she sprung into action. And she listened to her health experts and to LGBTQ community leaders. Uh, and she uh, spearheaded deep investment in the public health response to HIV AIDS in San Francisco to the point where San Francisco was spending more in response to HIV AIDS than the entire federal government uh, spent. And we ended up, because of her leadership, uh, building a model around HIV AIDS in San Francisco that was then replicated around the world. So she, show, she showed absolute tremendous leadership on this issue. Just in the final 30 seconds, the California governor now faces the task of appointing someone to fill the senator's seat. Who are the leading candidates? Well, I don't envy the governor because we now have an active uh, U.S. Senate race with uh, candidates who are working hard and raising a lot of money for next March's primary in the November. Uh, and the governor has publicly said that he intended he intends to appoint a black woman. Uh, and he said recently that he would be appointing someone who would not be uh, running again in November. Uh, and so he has a, a tough choice. I don't know who he's going to appoint. There are a lot of highly exceptionally qualified candidates. Uh, and I'm confident that the governor will make a solid choice and someone who will represent California. Well, I do not envy him uh, this decision. California State Senator Scott Weiner, thank you for sharing your personal memories of Dianne Feinstein. 
Thank you so much.